Maybe. Yep. That's a one. So one plus one is two. Two minutes. Two minutes. I have an old New Hope uh, analysis I'd like to bring up, which is Obi-Wan's surprisingly... Um, how can I put it? Uh, naive hiding of Luke. So he's got Luke and Leia. He knows, oh my god, if Darth Vader finds him, he's gonna do something horrible to him or try to convince him to join the dark side. So with Leia, he's like, hey, there's a Senator Organa. I'll give her to him. He, she goes off to another planet. She's raised as Leia Organa. There's a, there's a pretty good. I'll say as far as hiding goes, not so bad. Luke. Okay, first of all, uh, uh, keep the same name. Nah, that's the last thing they'd look for would be another Skywalker. I mean, who would be that dumb to keep the same name? So that's, a, you know, it's a reverse psychology. Second, let's leave him on the same planet where you grew up. Uh, in fact, let's just give him to your uncle. So, so it's, uh, it's living the same with the uncle on Tatooine, name a Skywalker, and as a nice little capper, uh, Anakin slash Darth's mom is buried uh, about 10 feet away from where Luke is living. <laughs> okay. You can imagine that thing where it's like, well, it's the 10th anniversary of my mom's death. I thought I'd just come and pay some respect. Who's that little guy next to you? <laughs> and why is the force radiating off him and giving me a headache? <laughs> this is Luke S S Scar... Whacker. I don't know. Anyway, Dork Lords, some, <laughs> that's your Star Wars goodness for the day.